sending out warnings that America is in big trouble because America not only leans left, but America is too cozy with Muslim Brotherhood, etc. Trevor, going back here to this red-green alliance, again, the alliance of communists and Muslims to try to overthrow America. And uh, the clip I just played from your film is so troubling. And Carson ends the little clip, Allah will not allow us to stop. I don't even know what he meant by that, but it sure it sounds very creepy. Can you elaborate on this at all? Well, look, you got to understand that Andre Carson serves on the Intelligence yes. Committee, which oversees all 16 of your intelligence agencies. The CIA, the FBI, the NSA, you name it, Andre Carson has oversight over them. He's actively involved with the Muslim Brotherhood, and then he says, if you think you can stop us, Allah will not allow That's you right. to stop us. Now, now, how? Well, what is it you think he means? Basically, the guy is an enemy of the country, yet he is serving on all his powerful bodies. And he's not alone. As I said, there's a hundred members of your house who couldn't pass an FBI background check. Several serve on the Intelligence Committee. Several serve on the Homeland Security Committee, like Benny Thompson from Mississippi, who has a long-time connection to Cuba and the Communist Party. And several serve on the Armed Services Committee. So, and the Education Committee, the Judiciary Committee, etc. So, when you join the American military, you take an oath to defend the Constitution from enemies foreign That's right. and domestic. Your domestic enemies are running crazy people. You know, there's all the focus is on the foreign enemies, which are bad enough, but which are going to do you more damage in the long term. Well, <laughs> you're right. Uh, and then we haven't even talked about Huma Abedin, and you spend a good amount of time in your film on yeah. Huma Abedin, who she's not got indirect ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. She's got direct ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. She was Hillary Clinton's closest aide. And I've had many guests on here talking about this very troubling woman and her ties to Islamicism. Talk to us a little bit about, about that, because you cover her very effectively in this film. Yeah, well, we've got to realize that had Hillary Clinton become yeah. president, they think that Huma Abedin would have been the Secretary of State. Mm hmm she would have been your liaison between America and the rest of the world. She has, has extensive family ties with the Muslim Brotherhood, which is the father of Hamas and Al-Qaeda. And um, she herself served on the Muslim Students Association. She was also involved with the uh, a Journal of Islamic Thought, which was another front for the Muslim Brotherhood. And she was actually on the editorial board of that group. She would have been your Secretary of State. Mm -hmm. She would have been running your foreign affairs a woman basically working for the opposition. And if you look at someone like Tim Kaine, who was of Hillary Clinton's vice president, he was elected by the Muslim Brotherhood to the governorship of Virginia, elected to the Senate by Muslim Brotherhood organizations. And he had an extensive connections to communist movements when he was down in Honduras as a young Catholic layman. So we find this all the time. Many of America's Muslim leaders are actually Marxists, like Linda Sarsour, the famous mm -hmm. Linda right. Sarsour out of New York, recently became a card-carrying member of Democratic Socialists of America. So we have to understand that to confront Islam, we also have to confront the left because they are allies and they hate America, they hate Israel, and they are working together over time to destroy President Trump and everything that's good about America. We have to understand the threat is, is way deeper than most of mm -hmm. us realize. Yes, I would agree, particularly after seeing your production here. Uh, Trevor Loudon, if you could spend an hour with President Trump, what would you say to him? And take your time. I, I really want to hear how you would advise him. Well, the very first thing he has to do, and he promised to do this but has yet to do it, would be to designate the Muslim Brotherhood as a terrorist organization. Because if he does that, he could shut down all these Muslim Brotherhood. The FBI could shut down all these Muslim Brotherhood front groups right across America. And that would have a huge liberating effect. I would want him to get very urgent about getting the wall put up on the southern border and, and basically shutting down all immigration to America for the next five years and definitely to shut down Muslim refugee resettlement from the mm -hmm. Middle East. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely vital. That's not just to stop terrorists. 
That's to basically stop an invasion of people who support Sharia law, which is in direct opposition to the US Constitution. I would also advise him to open up the energy field so America does not have to rely on Saudi or Venezuelan oil. And, and basically just reinstitute loyalty oaths for all federal government employees because the federal bureaucracy is absolutely infiltrated by com- communist and Muslim Brotherhood supporters. And the one thing I would really, really urge him to do is to make sure that Betsy DeVos abolishes the Department of Education, the biggest brainwashing mm-hmm. operation in your country. That is absolutely vital.